I'm Pete Millett from Monolithic Power Systems. Today I'm going to demonstrate the MPS MP6501A family of stepper motor drivers using the evaluation board and PC-based GUI software. The MP6501A is a bipolar stepper motor driver. It integrates indexer logic and two PWM current regulated H-bridge drivers, so it only needs a step and direction input signal to drive a motor. It can operate at supply voltages from 8 volts to 35 volts and drive up to 2.5 amps peak winding current. PS provides an evaluation board that connects via USB to a GUI program running on a PC to allow easy evaluation of the MP6501A. Here we have the evaluation board connected to a PC and a stepper motor with an oscilloscope using a current probe to show one of the motor phase currents. The evaluation board has an MP6501A part and also a USB microcontroller and some supporting circuitry that generates step pulses to run the motor. You can also bypass the uh, USB microcontroller part and drive the signals directly into the MP6501A. The GUI allows you to set the control signals to the MP6501A, including sleep mode, reset, and enable. It also reports the state of the fault pin. You can change the current that the MP6501A drives to the stepper motor windings by changing this current setting in the GUI. This works by changing the VREF voltage that's driven into the MP6501A. The MP6501A supports step modes from full step to 1 8 step, which you can change with the GUI. Changing the setting changes the level of the input pins MS1, MS2, and MS3. You can also change the decay mode, which affects how the driver regulates current. This lets you optimize the current response to the motor and the operating conditions you need, which helps reduce acoustic noise and provide smooth motion. The voltage on the MDS pin is varied to change the decay mode. The P6501A family are easy to use drivers for bipolar stepper motors. It can be used in a variety of end applications including printers, copiers, robotics, and light industrial applications. For more information, go to www.monolithicpower.com.